Hi everybody, it's Mr. Derek from my backyard. Today I wanted to teach you how to make a few sundials um, using super minimal materials that you can find around your house. Um, the first one, um, all you need is a big straight long stick um, and some rocks. Okay, so I set one up yesterday. Um, we did uh, a few hours, but it did get a little cloudy on me yesterday. So um, we'll try to finish it off today. Um, all you need is this straight long stick. I stuck it right into the ground. And then I kind of point it a little bit north. Um, since we live in the northern hemisphere, uh, we can get the sun from the south. And we get a nice long shadow. So I have my rock. Is I actually marked it as an 11. I'm just going to put it right here on the shadow. And then I'm gonna, I came back la yesterday. I came back every hour and I marked um, where the shadow was. And then I have uh, my clock. So that's it. That's all you have to do for this one. Um, the next one, if you don't have a big sh sunny yard that gets uh, sun for most of the day, um, you can go and get a pot. And I just filled my pot up with dirt and I just put a croquet stick in it. Um, and then that's my sundial. So as you see, and then um, I can also mark it with some chalk. So I'm going to put my rock down and then I'll grab my chalk and I'm just going to mark that shadow. Boom. 11 o'clock. There we go. Super simple. And again, this croquet stick is pointing a little bit north. That way I get that longer shadow. I will say I would pay me pick a better spot than I picked here uh, because it does, it does get some shade here in the morning from this fence. And then later on in the evening from my house, I also get some shade. So make sure you get a really big open spot for uh, that sundial and you'll get really good readings. And remember to set that alarm, come out every hour and mark your spots. All right, last one, let's come on over. This one, you can make a little bit more. Um, this one's a little bit more of a craft, but all you need is a straw, a paper plate. I didn't have a paper plate, so I just used cardboard cut into a circle. Um, a ruler, a marker, and then a thumbtack or something to poke into your paper plate. Um, since I didn't have a paper plate, I just used cardboard and an old Wendy's cup that I cut in half. We're going to poke a hole into the top just so that straw can go right in there. And again, it's going to point a little towards the north. Then I'm just going to grab my ruler and I'm going to draw a nice straight line from the edge of the cup or the edge of your hole to the edge of your plate. And then I'm going to mark it. It's 11 o'clock here when I'm doing this. So I'm going to mark this as an 11. Perfect. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to go put it on the ground in a nice sunny spot. Okay. And then just shift your shadow so it goes right onto your line. Then make sure you grab some weights so your paper plate or your cardboard doesn't fly away if some wind comes up. And then again, every hour, come on out, mark your uh, your plate or your cardboard, and now you have a clock. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me. This was Mr. Derek with some sundials. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.